Hello everyone. In today's video, I will discuss about uh, Bourdieu's idea of social space and class. And this video is the continuation of previous video. In earlier video, I have discussed how a Bourdieu uh, conceptualized social space, symbolic space and uh, the class. In this video, I will try to discuss how Bourdieu uh, understood the social space and the classes. And Bourdieu also criticized the Marxian classification of the society. So that things we will discuss in this video. As we said, as we discussed in the previous video, that Bourdieu has discussed about the social space. Social space means the difference difference or the gap that exists among the various groups, individuals in the society. So, and for him, this social space is constructed. How the social space is constructed? This, special, uh, this social space is constructed through a habitus and uh, through the possession of the cultural capital and economic capital. So, according to Bordio, the Class do not exist. This class does not exist. Class does not exist. What exists? Social space exists. So that I will expand. So this is the his primary uh, argument that I will uh, means cover up in the present video that class does not exist, rather social space exists. It's very important point that he has pointed out. As we know, that's Marxian theory and Marxism basically uh, presented various dimension of the classification of the capitalist society and how various classes are maintaining the differences with each other. But body is saying the class does not exist, rather social space exists. Why he has said this has its own justification. So according to Bordio, the class does not have any intrinsic content or elements to describe, to describe any particular reality. Class is, class do not have an intrinsic or inherent attributes that describes the particular reality or realities. Rather, this classification is just explanatory. For him, there is this classification of the society is explanatory. There is this explanatory framework is uses. This explanatory framework is uses by the intellectuals for particular the for particular realities or for particular understanding of the division exist in the society or differences what body said in the society so this class is not something which is given rather it is something which is uh, which is applied as a framework to level a particular kind of difference a particular kind of division in the society Class is not homogeneous, it is not something which is, uh, which is similar to the theoretical division that Bodio pointed out, according to Bodio, that class is something different from what a theoretical division like uh, the division in term of sex, division in term of ethnicity, division in term of uh, race or any other things. Class is something which is just explanatory a device, explanatory terms, terminology, which uses by the intellectuals theoretically in their paper and then they try to find it in a reality. Then they try to uh, try to make it real in the society. It is the, it is the intellectuals who accommodates certain sections of peoples into different classes and ultimately classes being uh, realized that is realization occurs that there are 
classes in the society. But what about the differences? What about the division? That has not been denied by Bodhya. Bodhya has not denied that there is no division. Bodhya rather said that the society which is uh, claimed as homogeneous, democratic has also the difference. That is society which is democratic, which is claimed as homogeneous is also, also having the difference. The difference exists, that means division exists. Then how he has understood this division and difference that we shall mention. So he basically tried to say that this difference or this division is the social space. Now how this social space is maintained in the society? According to him, this difference and distance among various groups is social space. What Marx has said is the class. For example, the wealthy, affluent or rich class, there is wealthy class, which do not, uh, do not get into interaction with the lower class. Why? Because there is gap there is a difference, there is space exist between these two class, there is no social proximity nor physical proximity. That means they are not living in the same locality or same place or nor they are having any social interaction. So there is the gap exist and that resulted into social gap, social space and difference in many other aspects. For example, the marriage. So marriage between the wealthy class and the lower class is not possible. It is almost impossible because this wealthy class and working class has not even interacted physically, socially, so there is no possibility of marriage. So this is what social space, this is what differences that exist in the society. Bodhi also, uh, Bodhi also pointed out another particular important point, a very important point that is homogeneity within a particular class. What Marx has uh, argued that class consciousness can uh, can class consciousness can start the class conflict and revolution and the particular the class can be united because they have homogeneity they have homogeneousness they have oneness similarity or likeness of interest but according to Bodio, this oneness this homogeneity this similarity this likeness of interest is just political, is just a political process of mobilization. Here he argued that, here he argued that this political, the power uh, exercise, political power exercise requires support of a particular group or a particular party requires the support of a particular group or groups or sections. He also stated that, there is Bodhya stated that a particular party cannot be neutral. For example, a party which both who, uh, this party is, uh, party is working for the interest of both capitalist as well as working class. This party cannot be successful. According to Bodio, this party cannot be successful if the party is working for both capitalist class and working class. Why it cannot be successful? Because it would be difficult for this party to mobilize, to mobilize, uh, mobilize the group, mobilize a particular sections for the common interest because capitalist class and working class have contradictory interests. 
So it has to be either with the capitalist or with the working class. There is political parties, political parties, political groups who tries to be uh, tries to be uh, the side of a particular group, either with the capitalist class or with the working class. So even if so, that's why Bodio said that this homogenization or this unity within a class is just a political process of mobilization that is political party or political group for their own political interest mobilizes certain members uh, sections of peoples and level them as a class called working class or maybe the middle class or the capitalist class so this is according to bodio this how the theoretical classes that has constructed that has created by intellectuals in paper come into realization through political mobilization process through the political process of the uh, political process of the uh, the unification through the po political process of the uh, uh, political process of the unity unit political unity or political process of the consciousness so according to bodio this is not at all a unified unified uh, entity or this is not an unified society rather just is a political political process or political mobilization it has its own interest it's not the societal unification bodio also argued that a class from uh, a class on paper becomes the class and reality through political through political mobilization of a sections called class that is the classification of classes is political there is political groups political uh, the political agents political parties who mobilizes who mobilizes certain sections of peoples into one category and level them as class this is how the class come into a real form from the paper that is intellectuals or political intellectuals or social intellectuals or social scientists who framed classes in paper and this class has now come into a reality through this political mobilization. Bodhi also said that the class class is nothing but the realization realization class is nothing but the realization that is realization of its existence during the political mobilization process this is when political party mobilizes certain sections then this particular sections believes or starts believing that they belongs to a particular class that means during this struggle they starts knowing they start getting into the zone that they are a part or they are member of a particular class so this notion of class is basically related to the political struggle of power and political process of mobilization there is mobilization process there is political mobilization is very much important for political struggle and political struggle is mainly a struggle of the elites and this mobilization that is this for this political struggle by elites requires the requires the mobilization of large sections of peoples under one interest and this interest is also a so called political this interest is also political but it seems that it is something which is social economic and it is something which is community based and all but the class becomes visible or the members of the class become realizes the existence of class only while they are doing struggle but their struggle is also politically oriented this is what Bodio wanted to say about the class.
So Bodio, that is why, believes that the class does not exist in the society. So what does he believe? He believes that there exists the social space. That means in the society, in the society social space exists. What social space means? That I already discussed. Social space is the difference. Difference among these sections of people. What so called intellectuals, that is what the Marxist or the intellectuals, political intellectuals, social scientists consider as classes. What you are saying that these are the various sections of people who have differences, who have space among them. Because there is the differences in the possession of cultural capital, economic capital and the habitats because they have different habitats so they have the space. So this space maintained again he is saying there is no society which is homogeneous that means he is not denying the fact that society is divided, society has the difference, there exist the differences. That is why he said, even if society is claimed as homogeneous, even a democratic society is claimed as they are democratized and all equal, but differences exist, different do exist. He cited the examples of the society of the United States, where different viewpoints are there. There is one section who supports the who supports the political uh, the class struggle, another uh, section who uh, supports the consensus among the classes and another section who uh, believes that there is all middle classes. So in this way there is no clear cut, there is no clear cut division uh, in the line means there is no clear cut division in the form of or in the name of class. Class is not something what, what I discussed in the first, uh, first part of the video that class is not something which has a inherent attributes and through these attributes we are defining or uh, we are describing particular reality or particular uh, the uh, particular activities in the society. No, it is just a terminology which used in paper theoretically and getting realized through this political process of mobilization and struggle. So here struggle what I said is struggle of the elites for power and struggle of the members of the working class or members of any of the class is, uh, is mainly, mainly the interest for elites, mainly interest for the political parties or political groups. So this is what Bodio said that there is no class but the space, there is social space and this social space is visible, social space is visible in the society, there is social differences visible in the society. That is why he also attached another notion, another concept idea called the symbolic space. That is this social space is symbolically 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 manifested in the society it has a symbolical uh, means manifestation as i cited the examples in the last video that is how a particular area residential area being uh, differentiated being uh, divided uh, symbolically that is residence or residential area of the the rich wealthy people residential area of the working class, residential area of the middle class. So automatically this symbolic space also, uh, symbolic space also enforces the enforces or reinforces the, the social space or differences that exist in the society. So this is the present discussion. What we have understood is that that according to Bodio, class does not exist, rather social space exists. And this social space is mainly uh, decided or mainly determined by the position of cultural capital and social capital and moreover the habitus. That is habitus is a determining notion that determines the spaces. 
so all the all the groups all the all the uh, individuals have different habitats based on the habitats this gap exists so body has not categorized society into this fixed classes that is what marx has categorized like capitalist bourgeoisie and proletariat weber also categorized classes but body has not categorized the classes body has simply said that there is differences exist in the society and this difference has what he said is the social space symbolic space so this is the present discussion and i will continue this discussion in the next video so thank you very much for watching the video